What's up guys, talking to you Brent here. I'm gonna just talk about my first week as a grad stu a grad class uh, graduator and uh, what that was like. Uh, if you guys watched any of my previous videos, you'll know I got about uh, 3,600 miles this week. I had to take a 34 already. Right on day seven was the day I was like midway through it. Uh, woke up this morning about three in the morning uh, local time and got myself to Paul Paul, Michigan. It was about 130 miles out uh, where I stopped at. And uh, yeah, so we'll we'll just start from the beginning, okay? I left Houston, Texas, got a got a load from Baytown, drove to Kansas. That was a dropping hook. Took me forever because the fucking lots at the Walmart distribution centers are huge. Okay, and I was, I'm a man, so I didn't ask for directions. I didn't stop any yard dogs. Now I know to do that if I can't find my way around places. So keep that in mind. Ask questions because you're just burning up time. So that didn't really bother me much. I got back on the road. I got to the distribution center again. I dropped my trailer. I hooked up to a wrong trailer that was loaded and started to pull off. I had to put that bitch back where it, where it was at. Uh, which I pulled off and like turned off so and the tandems were all the way back. So that's fun I put that back went through the empty lot that the guy told me to go to after I fixed that and Waited on a trailer for five hours before pre-plan got with me and told me there was one about 60 miles away So I drove 60 miles away. Luckily it was in to in the direction of my destination, which was a Tyson plant uh, to pick up my next load uh, that was a dropping hook. So I hooked up to that bitch and I left. Got myself driving, right? Uh, when I got into the Tyson plant later that day, I hadn't realized that the Walmart sitting on my ass put me over my DOT. By the time I got out and parked at a Love's, I was an hour and 30 minutes over my DOT time. And it was because I had set myself on on off-duty break when I was waiting to find a trailer. I should have been on sleeper birth. So I changed that, and that got fixed. I was stressed about that because it was on a Sunday, and I had to wait till Monday to call compliance. So that got fixed. Now, then I drive, you know, two, three days, 600-mile days to get this load to New, Jer or to New York on time because it was due to pick up two days before I picked it up. So I was already behind on the load and I'm trying to I want to get my load there on time. I want to be I want to be good. So I get there. I get with my dispatcher. Uh, I'm not able to Get a repower on my Walmart load, whatever. Anyways, I'm heading there. I talked to my dispatcher I'm like, I'm not gonna make it and she's like, I know you have a note on your on your truck that you are gonna be repowering somebody so go to this uh, service center in New Jersey and uh, wait await further instructions so I get to New Jersey I'm getting ready to shower because by that time if you guys hadn't watched my I shit myself video I was still in the midst of trying to get cleaned up from that um, so I was excited that I was just gonna take my 34 here because I only had like 13 13 hours left on my clock or like 14 hours left on my clock for my 70 the guy calls me like an hour. He's like, I'm up the road. I'm about to come. Where are you parked? I told him where I parked and we swapped trailers and I'm getting ready to chill. Well, I got a pre-plan to go like 17 miles up the road to a, 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 a soda place to pick up some shit and then take it to Paw Paw, Michigan, where I am now. I sit outside that bitch for like an hour because on the door it says, only employees are allowed to come in. If you come in and you're not an employee, you are trespassing. So I didn't go inside. I sat out there for like an hour trying to call them, right? I even called Stevens and they tried to call them. They hung up on me. But uh, so I go up, I go up and I start banging on the fucking, on the dock door. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck, man? I am trying to get loaded. I need to get out of here. I only got like an hour left on my clock for the day. Get, now, just granted, remember that shit. So my clock's already down to like 15 more minutes. And I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna be able to dock this and then I hope to God to have overnight parking here because I see there's lots of parking spots. So I finally, I, I, I find a guy inside, he opens the door uh, and he's like, yeah, just go in the door that says don't go in the door. Okay, so I sat out here for a fucking hour. I'm calling 
I'm still on the phone when I walk into this place. The phone is still ringing and he's just sitting there. I waited on hold for over an hour and this guy's just on his phone. I fucking hate Jersey, dude. I fucking hate Jersey. The drivers are fucking dicks, assholes. Everybody's wanting to die out there. They just hate life, I guess, because everybody's cutting me off and you gotta drive extra careful, man. When they say that driving in New York and New Jersey make a man out of you, you're goddamn right it will. Sorry, I'm I'm at Coca-Cola right now in Papa, so dropping my my last load for the week, and then I'm turning my trips in as soon as I get my paperwork. I'm turning all my trips in. Find a safe haven. I just sent an email to my dispatcher. I'm like, hey, hook it up. Where's my pre-plan? I've been here for 20 minutes. I don't have a pre-plan yet. Where's my pre-plan? Please pre-plan me. I'm gonna call you at eight o'clock when you get in. That's what exactly what I put. I sent that just now before I started this video. So, anyways, I get loaded. I'm negative on my time now, right? Let me talk about the Tyson plant first though. I get in there, she's like, yeah, go to the right. So I go to the right when I come into the Tyson plant in Kansas, it's, it's in Ottawa, I believe. No, Ottawa's where I drop. It doesn't matter, it's a Tyson plant out there and it's about 300 miles e uh, west of where uh, Ottawa is at. So there's a Tyson plant out that, out that way. So I pull into the right and I go down this really tight area. My tandems are all the way back, have you, and I, find out it's a dead end the fucking yard dogs are watching me and they don't stop me from going down there I make the turn and I get down this straight oh my god it was tight as fuck pipes and shit everywhere like I'm imagining it's like chicken chicken fat or something like just going through these pipes and they're burning it off in the fuel whatever so I have to back this bitch out of this tight ass spot with all these fucking like yellow tag poles and fucking lockout tag out fucking pipes and shit you know where fuel's going to burn some of this shit off i'm having to back my trailer up i don't have anybody spotting me and my tandems are all the way back and i'm in this tight spot i did it and i was tired to have you i was already stressing because it took me fucking 30 minutes to get into the plant and i am running out of clock this time too like i had i thought that if i went off duty my clock wasn't gonna go down well by that time my clock was still going down and off duty. So I was like, fuck man. So I call, you know, the nighttime DM and she's like, yeah, just find you a safe haven, call safety and say that you need to get to a safe haven. And then you can call compliance on Monday morning and fix it. That you guys already know I was ended up fixing because of what I did at Walmart before. So anyways, I get out of the spot. I go to dock it into a place cause it's over to the right. Well, I didn't realize I had to take a left and then a right. But before I did all that, I had to wash the trailer out and it's like this really tight thing with the poles up and my tandems are all the way back and I had to back this thing straight into this wash bay for somebody to come in and wash the truck the trailer and then I dropped the trailer off whatever so that's done okay that was a that was a hell of a night it oh god that was stressful but I was just happy to be at loves and getting ready to go to sleep now let's jump forward to where I am now or where I was in New Jersey when I was getting loaded with the load that I'm getting unloaded now which I need to roll this window up because it is getting cold. Anyways, I get loaded, right? As soon as I back out, the guy's loading me already, which is great because I was like, dude, I'm running out of clock, bro. Like, I need to, do you guys have, can I post up over here or what? And I, yeah, man, we got overnight parking. And I was like, cool, let's fucking get loaded. So he's like, yeah, it's off on the side of the building. Dock 21 or 22 or something, he said. R21 or R22. I was like, okay. So I drive down and it's about it's about the width of my truck, give or take a couple inches on each side, alongside this thing, and then there's a big ass drop off to my to my driver's side here. If I made a wrong turn or there was ice and I started sliding, my truck is gonna fall into another plant down below where people are still working and actively working and it's like eight or nine o'clock at night. So it's that tight, right? Okay, so and uh so I'm driving and I gotta drive all the way to the back do a big turnaround in this itty bitty ass dirt lot where all these trucks are already parked and sleeping for the night. So I'm trying to turn with the 53 foot trailer on the back of me and I'm turning around. I finally turn around, I get up and I back into a spot that I, cause they don't have R22 or R21 numbers anywhere, right? So I come up and back into this slanted hill and there's no lights on or anything. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I get out and I'm looking and shit. And the guy fucking comes out and he's like, no, it's this one. It's the one right in front of it. So I have to come up and back in and I have to be up against the wall to back in. And that's uh, that's like an offset, basically, um, blind side back. 
So I'm like, he's not even helping me back up. It's, oh God, it's a pain in the ass. So I, I finally get it in the dock. He gets me loaded and I park. Great. I think they're finally starting on my truck. And so I go, right? I leave that next morning and I start driving. I'm like, I'm going to have to run my clock down. I'm going to have to drive at least 10 hours today. I need 600 miles today. So I don't have but like three hours to get to here. Well, I drive, I had 13 hours left on my clock, right? I drove 10 PTIs, fueling, all that shit. I was down to like two hours and 26 minutes. And this place was roughly about two and a half, three hours away. There was no way I was gonna make it here on time. So I told my dispatcher, I sent a, re a repower request that day when I shut down after I did my PTI and shit. And she calls me, she's like, hey, we got your PTI request, but there's like nobody near you right now so we're just gonna call the ship we're gonna call the receiver and see if they can take it later I was like cool what I think really happened is there's people over here right there's people over here near Michigan they just don't want to fucking sit on this load or they don't want to they don't want to take it because it's just out of the way or not worth it because I was only like an hour and a half to two hours away from the destination you know somebody does a repower they're gonna want to be able to just come probably like half an hour away come sit on it for you know a little bit and then take the motherfucker in this was supposed to be a dropping hook too, but since I had to take a 34, I'm getting live unloaded, which is good. I mean, we got trailers here. I saw them on my way in. I could have just picked one up, but whatever. So now I'm just waiting to get another pre-plan. So once I get done here, I'm probably gonna find me a safe haven. There's actually parking up front. I might park there and then uh, I'll just wait because I, I did took care of my business this morning, but it was about 3,600 miles in total. It very stressful. It can be if you let it bother you. Um, once it's over though, I felt better about it. So I'm not really bugging about it now. Went and got me a nice new charger, a nice little mount so I can keep my phone up and keep it charged. Cause I need, I, my watch, like I said, it's not charging. Whatever, who gives a fuck? Trucker dude Brent, who, who fucking cares? So anyways, next video um, pertaining to the job, I'm going to make a settlement video. That's not gonna be long at all. Probably be a couple of minutes uh, explaining, uh, linking back to this video on how the week went which really doesn't who cares right maybe if you guys are wondering like first week out of grad how it's going to be this will be what it's like it's going to be like this for everybody i imagine it was going like this whenever i wasn't in grad but i mean i'm a new driver and they got me running 36 miles on my first run you know it's like let's try to keep me around 3200 so i can keep rolling or find me something that is you know not fucked up but how, do, how is dispatcher planning going to know that there's no trailers at these places? They might. I, did, I don't know what happened. Anyways, settlement check next video. Uh, what I made on my 3,600 miles, what they actually paid me for my 3,600 miles because it's zip code to zip code. So I doubt it's going to be exactly what I'd say. It's not probably not going to be 3,600 miles. It's probably going to be a lot less than that. But we'll see. All my trip sheets are ready. I'm just waiting for the paperwork. I'm going to turn it in. And then when, when I get my check, Y'all be the y'all be in, uh, be the first besides my wife to know. All right, remember, gents and ladies, love it, hate it, fucking rate it. Take care, guys and gals, and uh, see you on another time.